Caleb, how would you assess the line play the first two weeks, and, and what are you trying to get better at? Um, just, just trying to get better at technique. Um, you know, um, like Leffert was talking about, we gotta, we've been trying to play with that demeanor that he wants us to play with, and, you know, just trying to get better at that every game as well, too. We kind of talked about in the preseason, you guys kind of came in with a little chip on your shoulder because people were kind of talking like maybe the weak link of the team. Do you feel like that has helped? That has helped a lot. Uh, you know, past few years, the whole line hasn't been the best here, and we know that. And, you know, going into after this past season, just going into the off season, everybody was just talking about the old line, and we knew we had something to do about that. We needed to do something about it. And Leffert has came in here and just helped us tremendously with everything. And love that man to death, and go to war for him any day of the week. Kevin, okay, what's changed for you guys offensively? I mean, specifically, kind of on, on that offensive line. Uh, everything, literally everything. Our mindset, the way we go about our business. The way we practice, the way we prepare for everything, you know, uh, Leffert has really installed everything inside of us, and we, we want to be the best, and he knows we can be the best, and we just going for the. He mentions three colors, obviously, uh, fast, fast off the ball, toughest to finish. How many times he tells us that a lot? You know, how much? How long is every day? Literally every day, and that's the thing we do have to remember as an offensive lineman is to speed off the ball, toughness, and finish. Uh, because it shows up on film if you're not doing either one of those three things. And that's, if you want to be a great lineman, that's one of the three things you have to have. If it doesn't show up on film, what is Leffert's reaction? Uh, it's not, it, it's just, he'll just stare at you and just ask you, what are you doing? And it was like, uh, I don't know, kind of, <laughs> you could be t doing two out of the three, but that's not good enough because he expects the best out of us and that's what we try to give him every day. How much, does it change for any of you guys on the line to have a different center in there? You know, with those guys rotating, does it change at all? Oh, uh, not really, because since we, uh, since we've been doing that since fall camp, um, we've gotten a connection with both of them, and it's been it's gotten easier over time. It was tough at first, but it, it's gotten easier over time. Now we're we're really uh, connected with both of them. Are those three pillars like mm -hmm. always on your mind when you oh. walk out to practice, when you go to bed, when? Literally everywhere we go, speed off the ball, finish, and toughness. That's all he preaches, and he's not putting too much on us either. He just wants us to do those three things, and that play should be fine if we do all three of those things. Okay, you mentioned people that have been talking about the offensive line as the weak link. You guys had a chip on your shoulder. When you hear that, I guess if you get going into another game game, but you guys kind of just been waiting to kind of show people what you guys do. Uh, yeah, that and also we, we try to block out all those people because we just want our actions to speak for us. And so far, the first couple of weeks they have, and we're just hoping that can continue. Uh, we knew Notre Dame had a great defensive line, and we knew what we had to do and how, how, how to prepare to play that game. And Lefford got us prepared pretty well to play that game. What about the running backs and the way that those guys, are they any different to block for? Because they're both fast. They're, but... they're quick, man. They, and they make it easier on us because they find, they find the holes and their eye awareness is just so good. And you don't even have to have a perfect block for them to get through. You know, just get in front of the guy, they'll find a way to uh, get through like Sonny and uh, Jayhawk has these first two games. And those both, run, those both running backs are amazing. What about for you, the, the development from when you got here until now when you're a starter on the line, how far have you come and, and what's the difference? Uh, the difference in me is uh, my demeanor and, and getting my technique right. You know, I had to wait my turn the first couple of years here and, you know, I, I wasn't pretty salty about it at all. I just knew it was just a chance for me to get better. And that's the role that I, I knew my role on this team and I was doing my role. And now my role is a little bit bigger this year, so I'm just hoping I can keep doing my role. Go through your career and kind of wait your turn. What's kind of the mindset as you're kind of fighting for reps and trying to ride to death for that position? Uh, really, just look at the older guys, watch them how they do everything, see how they prepare, and see if I can use some of that stuff for me. Uh, you know, watching Lucas over the past few years, you know, he's really helped me and took me under his wing. Makai as well has really taken me underneath this wing as well, and just watching them how they prepare for everything, how they get ready for practice and games. All that, you know, I had to learn how to become uh, a better student at preparing for the game.